tonight with Austin. You're finally gonna do it? Yeah. You know, we've been dating for six months and we love each other. I know it's like kind of corny or whatever, but it's kind of perfect, you know? We're gonna have like lighting and rose petals on the bed. I'm gonna look into Austin's eyes and then he's gonna look into mine. Three parents learn that their daughters are planning to lose their virginities at prom night, and so the parents set out to talk some sense into their kids. What will this strange parent's attempt of tangling in lives of their daughters pan out to be? Will the daughters go through with the wild night or will they be stopped before any action ever even happen? Now without any further delay. Let's get into the recap. The film starts with Lisa taking a video of her young daughter Julie as she starts her first day of school. Julie is nervous until she meets Kayla and Sam, and the three of them quickly hit it off. Lisa meets Kayla's father Mitchell and Sam's father Hunter. Lisa and Mitchell get emotional seeing their kids enter school. Fast forward to the present. Lisa and Julie spend the morning together before Julie goes to school. It's the day of her prom, and Lisa is dreading the fact that soon Julie will be going to college. Mitchell tries to get intimate with his wife Marcy when he finds a pair of thongs. He puts them in his mouth to tempt her until Marcy reveals they belong to Kayla, at which point he spits them out. Mitchell is very protective of Kayla, even snooping in her room after he finds a cigarette filter in her pants and then finding a vibrating item that is soon revealed to be part of an electric toothbrush. At school, the girls sit together for lunch. Julie tells the other two that she plans to lose her virginity that night to her boyfriend Austin. Kayla decides to get in on it too with her prom date Connor. Sam is more hesitant and says she and her prom date Chad might not go that far, but Sam appears more interested in a girl named Angelica. Julie goes home and finds an acceptance letter from UCLA. She is nervous to tell Lisa since she thinks Julie was planning on going to school nearby. When Sam gets to the party, she tells Julie and Kayla that she wants in on the sex pact. The party starts, and Mitchell talks to Lisa since she hasn't returned his calls to hang out like they used to. Hunter shows up at the party uninvited in a limo that he rented for the girls. Lisa and Mitchell haven't talked to him since he divorced Brenda after he slept with Sam's babysitter, and Sam is none too happy to see him either. Mitchell meets Connor and immediately dislikes him for being near Kayla and for having a man bun. Before the girls leave for prom, Lisa finds Julie's acceptance letter in her drawer. She tries to talk to Julie before she leaves but is unable to do so. Mitchell and Hunter join Lisa when they hear noises coming from Julie's laptop. They start reading the text messages from the girls' group chat, which is filled with adult talk. Their fears are confirmed when Julie writes hashtag sexpact 2018, leading them to realize the girls are trying to lose their virginities that night. Lisa and Mitchell vow to stop this from happening, but Hunter thinks they are crazy for trying to do this. Still. He ends up joining them. The parents arrive at the prom to look for the girls. The girls are enjoying the night, but Sam sees Angelica and strikes up a conversation with her. Angelica says she just broke up with her girlfriend, and she playfully touches Sam's hair, leading her to realize they may have mutual feelings. Sam goes to kiss Chad to see whether or not she truly is straight or gay, and Hunter sees it. Sam clearly didn't enjoy it. Meanwhile, Kayla starts to drink liquor and smoke hash that Connor made. The girls and their dates then leave the prom to head to the after party. The parents go to Austin's house where Lisa was told that the after party would be. Instead, the three find Austin's parents, Ron and Kathy engaging in prom roleplay sex. Ron catches Mitchell outside but since he knows him and Lisa, he's not upset. He casually explains what he and his wife do and that Austin knows all about their sex life. If you have come this far in the video, please subscribe to this channel to never miss amazing content like this. They also reveal that the after party is at a lake house. When Ron and Kathy refuse to give up the address, Mitchell realizes that Marcy may have it. The three go to Mitchell's house to talk Marcy into giving up the address 
but she thinks that it's stupid that they are so worried about the girls losing their virginities. The three manage to distract Marcy long enough to acquire the address. In the house, Julie and Austin try to find a private room to get intimate, Sam is getting drunk enough to consider sleeping with Chad, and Kayla tries one of Connor's homemade macarons laced with a ridiculous amount of drugs. The cops arrive, forcing everyone to flee. The girls and their dates return to the limo, and the parents chase after them. In the limo, Sam gets sick and pukes on Chad, causing the rest of her friends to vomit uncontrollably. The parents are following closely behind until Sam sticks her head out of the sunroof and barfs on Lisa's car, causing her car to be tipped over on its front. The girls go get cleaned up when Julie sees how many texts and calls her mom has sent her. She calls Lisa, and they argue over her getting into UCLA and what she's planning to do later, to which Julie snaps that she knows Lisa is afraid of being alone and that Julie is trying to get as far away from her as possible. Lisa becomes upset. They then hatch another plan on how to find the girls. The three return to Austin's house to find one of his parents' phones to see if he told them where they will be heading next. Mitchell sneaks into the house and sees that Ron and Kathy are engaging in a weird sex game where they are both blindfolded and following each other's scents to find one another. Mitchell is trapped and at risk for getting caught until Hunter enters and forces him to go along with the sex game, ending in Kathy twisting Hunter's balls. They do manage to get a phone and learn that the girls are heading to a hotel. Everyone from prom is at the hotel tearing it up. Austin tells Kayla how upset Julie is, so she takes his room key and goes upstairs to create a romantic setup for the two of them. Kayla takes Connor into a room so they can get down to business. However, she ultimately decides that she does want the loss of her virginity to be special, so she instead lets Connor go down on her. Sam and Chad go into a room as well, but Sam stops Chad before he can get started as she realizes it's not what she wants. That doesn't stop him from finishing on her despite there being little activity, but he is okay with it. Mitchell starts kicking every door down until he finds Kayla and Connor. He throws Connor at a wall, which freaks Kayla out until they sit down to talk, and Mitchell being forced to accept that his daughter is grown up and capable of making mature decisions on her own. Lisa sneaks into Julie and Austin's room and sees the romantic setup from Kayla. She hides under a bed. Lisa then has to hide behind a TV when she is in danger of being caught. She sees Julie and Austin dancing together, and she realizes how happy her daughter is. Lisa sneaks out undetected and lets Julie do what she wants. Hunter tracks Sam down and talks to her. Although she is initially unhappy to see him, Hunter comes forward over how he's been a bad parent but says he really does love Sam. She then officially comes out to him, and he is ecstatic that she told him first and not Brenda. The girls reunite downstairs in the lobby. Julie tells her friends that she did it, and while it was painful, quick, and awkward, it was perfect for her. They start dancing, when Sam sees Angelica. She comes out to her friends, who both tell her they love her. Sam then kisses Angelica. Lisa, Mitchell, and Hunter sit at the bar together after the night they had. During the credits, Mitchell and Marcy try out the blindfolded sex game and start to enjoy it until Kayla walks in on them and freaks out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comment section below which movie you want us to recap next. As always until the next time.